You've got to be kidding me. What's happening? It's not starting. The bus not starting? No, it's got all those wait to start stuff. It's been a long time since it did this. You got it? I got it. Did you poop, poop your paints? A little bit, yeah. I guess he just needed a little time, huh? I guess. That was weird. Oh, I'm feeling too pregnant. <sighs> After a couple of days of literally coming in here and just staring at the massive project we still have in front of us. I think we have made a decision of where we're moving next because we have a lot of little projects that we have started and not finished completely but then we realized the back walls or I should say the back um, windows should be covered halfway like the ones in the kitchen I'm gonna let Chase put his brain to work and cut some stuff while I can probably prep some of the walls. Take it out there to cut. here. Do you so, want to tell everybody how special is that pencil for you? I found this pencil in Joshua Tree at Maso Menos. I, I, we pulled in with the van and uh, the first thing I noticed pulling into the parking lot was, there's a pencil. I said, I wonder if it's a Ticonderoga. I love Ticonderoga pencils. I don't know why I have a favorite pencil. I really, I, I've always loved Ticonderogas. And uh, I got out, Marissa was like, ooh, don't touch that pencil. And of course, I'm <laughs> gonna touch that pencil. So I picked it up. It was an unsharpened Ticonderoga pencil. So I kept it. And now it's been with me. I didn't lose it all the way back from Joshua Tree to here. I'm Murray, a nerd. But if you're missing a pencil from Joshua Tree, contact us at 1-800. We would not give you your pencil back. Yeah, it's not going back to you. <laughs> uh, in other news, the next probably 15 minutes are going to be me taking measurements and drawing uh, straight lines and, and curves and fun stuff like that on the computer. But if uh, any of you all are interested in becoming CNC hobbyists, uh, let me know because I would be more than stoked to do a full how I do all of this for the CNC. But that's just not a video that I know the large majority of you all are interested in. So it would definitely be an off cadence one. <laughs> Making sure we always have a little message back here. Oh my gosh. I thought it was going to be like a nice quote or it something. It is a nice quote. Marissa has a cute booty. Chase, 2024. <laughs> What's not cute about that? I'm done. Today's just not going the way that I want it to go. On the build, things just really aren't making a whole ton of sense. So I'm gonna get Isla ready to get muddy and we're gonna go get muddy. 
What do you think about that plan, Mama Bear? She will love that. She yeah. loves getting muddy and in that water. Ana, botas. Botas. Ana, can you say mud? Mud. Vamos. Manos. Chao. Oh, that's deep. Woohoo! Oh, no. If I'm being entirely honest, I did not expect her to sit down in the water. That's the first time she's ever done that. Ayla, you having fun? <laughs> the strangest thing happened yesterday while we were cutting these new panels in the back and the rear. So the measurements back here from one side to the next are almost essentially the exact same. So when I was making one cut, I would just then cut the same thing again and put it in place. So this section essentially is exactly the same as this section. Why am I telling you this? Well, this cut here, this is another piece for the other side, should be exactly the same. But for some reason, it's like over half an inch off. Doesn't make any sense. I literally just inverted my cut. I don't know, weird. So I'm gonna take new measurements. I don't know if maybe I cut outsides on one side, insides on the other. I really have no idea, but something's just not lining up. And well, I'm almost finished with this back section now um, since we've blocked off the windows, which I think looks, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I really wanted the full window, but it totally makes sense to have because we are gonna have um, washing machine back here we're also going to have like some cabinetry and stuff so it totally made sense um but yeah anyway i'm rambling just to let you know that something's not working right uh, on our cuts and i'm not quite sure why so uh i just need to take a couple more measurements and then recut a panel I have got one thing on my mind today and that is getting rid of the, the transition. We need to finish the transition between the wall and the ceiling. Why do we need to do that? Well, one, it just looks terrible. We need to make it look nicer because we really do love aesthetics. Uh, two, because we also have plans to kind of skim coat our walls with a a very, very minimal texture. Not quite like what we did in the van. And then three, we need to prime because it's only gonna be a few days and our paint for the walls, the ceiling, and the rooms is gonna be here. So that means I have got to identify what angles we need to cut out of some boards and pray that it works out because I am at a loss of what to do here. There are a couple of things that we've seen with ceilings like ours that now we know we could do, but we're far too long gone to do them now. So we've got to come up with a new solution. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to work out today. Wish me luck.
Uh, I don't know. See, like right here. Seems like it needs a little bit more, but Ooh, I can't. I can't cut any yeah. different angle. better like in camera it looks really good in person except for that little gap right there in person it looks okay but we have plans on smoothing everything out the most important thing was just bridging a lot of these gaps yeah see it looks pretty all right from here I told you. our batteries are essentially fully charged right now we were pulling in, oh my gosh, over 2,000 watts earlier today. I think I took a screenshot of it, look. Look at that, 2,000 watts of solar. I've recently been pretty hooked on some Costco ramens. They are delicious. They're not like, of course, the real deal, you go to a ramen restaurant, but they're better than pack ramen for sure. Oi. so good so one thing Isla absolutely loves is being able to drive the cars and she gets to do that when we go to get our packages and guess who just woke up and about threw a fit as I was walking out the door face your part of camera so, we're gonna go drive the car. All right, Isla, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's start it. You gotta turn it, turn it. There you go. Are you even paying attention where we're going? Vaca. Vaca, moo. Como se la vaca? Well, it looks like Isla's not going to be driving. She's too con too concentrated on the cows. Toca la corneta. She just spotted the cow. So I think we should just make a little pit stop over here and see the cow. Mira, como se llama? Vaca. La vaca. Como es la vaca? Vaca. Wow. Hola, vaca. Dile hola. So, for the most part, all of our transition trim pieces are up. The thing that we've got to do now is fill, is to fill the seams at each of them, as well as the seams in between our boards uh, and on the walls. So that's kind of my plan today. Um, I've got some body filler just because I've done quite a bit of research and body filler seems to be one of the most durable things that we can use uh, other than that i've got some flexible stuff made by dap that i'm going to try as well but i feel like i'm really going to be able to do what i'm hoping to be able to do with the body filler so we're just going to we're going to experiment a little today
It's time for me to go get some breakfast. It is uh, almost nine in the morning, so it's just about time to eat. Uh, I've been out here for almost two hours now. Chew. I'm back from eating a big old sandwich. And uh, I've got two, four, five. I've got five remaining sections of where the wood boards meet together left to sand and then I will need to go back over at least the back corner pieces transitional strips with a little bit of filler that's the plan it's supposed to rain here in a couple of hours so I'm hoping to get all of this done move inside and then move on to the next bit of the project but uh, time's a ticket I gotta wrap this up quick I'm ready for paint That wasn't supposed to happen. This thing's not meant for this, and the hook and loop was working really well earlier today, but it's kind of wore itself down now, so I gotta put a lot of pressure on it. This bus is so dusty. <clears throat> this is, I think, the, the grossest it's been inside in a really long time. And I've gotta clean it up. I need to move pretty much everything that's in it outside. So most of the cabinets, which is gonna be really fun. And then I need to take the wall plates off of the outlets. Then I need to try and de-dust this place as best as possible. I also, while I'm at it, need to probably wipe the walls down because they've got quite the accumulation of dust from sanding the Bondo and sanding the flexible wall filler. And then today, I'm gonna be trying something experimental. We did something very similar in the van and we had a caveat that this is experimental. It may not work, so don't try it and it ended up working great. We used a product in a can called Homax Wall Texture. And the can, I think it took us three cans to cover one wall. And those cans were like 15 or 13 or $20 a piece. They were pretty expensive for what they are. So we thought we'd do the same thing, but we really don't want texture like we did in the van. We kind of want to stray away from the texture, but we do want to smooth out these walls to kind of make them more like a, a stone or a gypsum board or something like that, something relatively smooth. And it may not work. It may be an absolute massive fail. Wish me luck. I'm playing catch with the weather right now. I just moved the bus in because it was cold, the sun went away, it started to rain. Now I've moved the bus back out because it stopped raining and the sun came out and it looks like it's just going to start getting a little bit warmer. The next step is to fill up a little bit of water in here and we're going to wipe the walls down. I want to get all the dust off the walls because I want to promote adhesion as much as possible. We're not really looking for a ton of water right now. So just a little bit, enough that I can keep this, this uh, towel that I've brought in pretty damp and yeah, just gonna start going over the walls. Now I'm ready to mix up my home ex slurry and uh, start putting it on the wall. I'm gonna roll it on and then I've got a paint kind of trowel. It's for edging paint. Uh, I'm gonna just use it to smooth the, uh, the material up. The cat and mouse continues with the weather. I decided to pull the bus back out after pulling it in. 
and the sun yet again went away. It's raining again. It's starting to get a little chilly, but I'm done with the back and forth. All right, let's get to it. In the event that this works out pretty well, now you know what we're using and you're gonna see how we're doing it. Now we've got 15 minutes to let it sit and rest. I mix it again, add a little bit of water if I think it's a little too thick, and then we get to rolling. <laughs> 